Hey, I'm Shauna Coronado. Welcome to my garden studio. Today we are planting up a container in three brilliant ways. And it's a way to get your containers to last for a longer season. Now, the plants that we're going to be using today are caladium, asparagus fern, sweet carolina sweet potato vine, tropicana cana, and bush morning glory. First step is to make sure that all of the plants have a similar requirement. So for example, um, they both require about the same amount of water regularly. Don't want to put a dry plant in with a, a moist soil plant. It just doesn't mix. The other thing is, is we want to make sure they have similar light requirements. Now listen, a Tropicana canna really loves full sun, no doubt. But look at that interesting foliage color. It will do just fine in part shade. It really will. It will not grow over abundantly, but it'll still look really attractive. And all of the other plants that we have here work wonderfully in part shade. So this is going to be a brilliant three part part shade container for your entire season. Next thing we need is good drainage. And here you see a nice big hole, perfect for planting and draining. It's really important that we have that. And this is a coffee liner. What am I going to do with this? I like to cover the hole with a, a coffee filter because it prevents the soil from dripping out of the bottom and onto my nice patio. This season I'm using peat free soil. Beyond peat soil has, a, this is important, organic fertilizer added right in. That means that you don't have to fertilize excessively. You can just mix the plants right in with the soil immediately and know that you've got a good growing medium. Once you get the soil about halfway full, then we need to arrange the plants. Now that you have the plants positioned, it's time to put them in the pot. Sweet potato vine has a lot of roots. Let's loosen those up. All right, back filling in the soil. Here we have a gorgeous container. I mean, come on, this is going to be really pretty out in the garden. What happens when your plants start to look like this? You know, towards the end of the summer and it's like, oh, oh my, that's not, that's not good anymore. Well, I mean, you can do the obvious. You can trim them off, right? But you can do something else as well. You can replace your tropical plants or anything that's burnt out uh, with a new annual for the fall and you leave the majority of the container in place and then you simply pull out your plant and replace it. Now at that time I like to add an extra scoop of fertilizer and I use an organic fertilizer. Here's my organic, just give it a little scoop and I plant it around the soil and make sure that the entire pot gets a little bit of a refresh. But here's the thing, when this plant starts to fall off because of the cold and all of the plants are looking a little grim because of winter, I have another solution for you. It is to totally replace the big plant. I'm going to replace it with a morning glory shrub. And you're like, what the heck? <laughs> I'm in Arizona so I can do this. You might want to use a tropical house plant or any kind of foliage plant, let's say a hosta or something of that nature. You do the same routine again. You clear out the area where the plants are growing and you get the new plant in place and you keep it inside in your house as an overwintered plant. That's three seasons of success with a container garden. Now in the spring, what you do is you shake this all loose, you add a little extra fertilizer, you put it out on your patio and shebang, you have a full year of container garden. And there you have it, three brilliant ways to do one container. Easy peasy, brought to you by Beyond Peat Potting Soil. You can have peat free soil with organic fertilizer already added holds tons of moisture and it's great for the environment i'm shauna coronado thanks for joining me in my garden studio